all voters, especially those who call upon the name of the Lord, all Christians, especially all Catholics, since Newscom claims to be a Catholic, he's actually officially uh, de facto automatically excommunicated the first time he ever used his lawmaking power to legalize or keep legal or fund the murder of innocent, defenseless, unborn children, our little brothers and sisters, who God, God forgive me for having failed to intervene, to save, to, to stay the hand of their executioners, their government authorized executioners. But all, all voters need to pray before voting, and here is a prayer I wrote some years ago. It is a prayer to Our Lady of Guadalupe for forgiveness. Blessed Mother of us all, Holy Mary of Guadalupe, patroness and protector of the innocent, defenseless, unborn children, killed by abortion 4,000 times a day, look down with mercy on your guilty, sinful people. We who call ourselves followers of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, are guilty. We who call ourselves the people of God have neglected his tiniest, most precious people, our little brothers and sisters, in the womb. Knowingly and unknowingly, we have chosen as the leaders of our nation diabolical men and women who openly vote to keep the satanic human sacrifice of abortion legal and to pay for the murders of children to be committed or done little or nothing to prevent their being elected. We do today publicly repent of our apathy for the plight of God's unborn Amen. children. Amen. And more importantly, we repent of having elected as our leaders openly pro-abortion politicians simply because they convinced us they would make our lives nicer in this world. We are a worldly selfish people and with your help we will never commit these mortal sins of voting for pro-abortion political candidates may the holy spirit convict us of sin and help us to do penance for the american holocaust of abortion amen in the name of the father and the son amen. and the holy ghost amen and i, I want to especially direct that message i want to look you in the eyes bishops of America, priests of America, pastors of America, I want to look you in your wimpy, cowardly eyes, your lying eyes that have stabbed us in the back most recently with these evil, satanic, great reset, new world order quack scenes. You, 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 you have lost our support of so many of us. We're, we're, we're a deeply deeply faithful Catholics, I don't want to say devout, that scum usurper, the unelected, unelected president, resident Joe Biden calls himself a devout Catholic. You know, if you have a heart and a brain, Mr. Bishop, Mr. Priest, you know damned well he excommunicated himself the first time he voted for this murder. You know that, but you don't want to admit it because you are, you are so blinded. The diabolical uh, disorientation is just so deep in your lives that, that the pastor, that the pastor, Father Demon or Angel or whatever of St. Helens in Southgate should preach a sermon parroting all, all the lines of the pro-abortion side a couple of years ago, I, and my stomach was turning. I thought he was he was directing it at me. You need to repent, Father Devil, Father Demon. All you so-called priests in our church, you need to repent of having supported Adolf Hitler. We know where you would be. We know where Biden, Clinton, Obama, we know where they would have been 75 years ago in Europe, in Germany, they would have been with the Nazis. It's clear they would have been killing people, innocent people, just as they do with the unborn. 
So we, you need to wake up and repent and join us in repenting. I repent of my apathy of having done next to nothing to stop this Holocaust, of having not gone in and stayed the, uh, stayed the hand of the, of the murderers. And, and you, our clergy, need to repent too.